Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one, doing a live attack from the war against Emphatic Fury. It's kind of a must win if we want to secure a plot, uh, a spot in the playoffs. Uh, we've had a few bad weeks, a few unlucky weeks. You guys have seen some of that uh, over the last uh, few matchups that you've uh, you've seen on YouTube here, recapped and whatnot. So this is an important war. Um, very important we win this for our playoff chances and uh, as because we only have a few weeks left in the regular season here uh, of CWL Premier. So basically a slow start, but we've kind of been bouncing back. We are only 1 for th uh, or 0 for 3 on Town Hall 11s. Uh, two good plans. I'm going to try to clean up base number 4 here, uh, but both bases look like they're relatively close uh, to being two starred. So taking a look at Tornado Top Links, uh, his plan here, uh, you can see it's a uh, it's a La Loon, so something that's not as common as usual. But the expos are mainly on ground, and the setup allows this to uh, to work. So a few adjustments I'm going to make, you guys will see here. Um, I'm not going to do the separate uh, hasted Loon groups in uh, like the way uh, Tornado did. I'm going to kind of do them all at once. So that's one change. Um, but basically the same three Lava Hounds he used. I'm going to go ahead and pre-haste. So I'm going to get those haste spells down ahead of time. And what that will do is it will make it so I can drop my other spells quicker. The rages were kind of late. So I'm going to get those rages down. I'm going to get the freeze down on the Eagle, the Inferno, uh, just like we had Tornado do. And then um, basically trying to get the Eagle taken out trying to get the expo taken out. These are two very important defenses. Hopefully the recording software goes okay. It's a little, it looks a little bit shaky, but uh, I think we're gonna be all right here. Um, the CC lure will occur. I'll bring the CC to the corner just like this, a few minions. Um, yeah, that side should be fine. The eagle should not be an issue. It should get taken out. That's important. Um, one of his pack of loons got taken out, but I don't think it's going to happen to me if I drop them in quicker and more efficiently. Then I have the same minions to clear out some of that trash. And basically, at this point, he's up at uh, 30, 33% there. Drop in the king. Uh, the king should go for the wall, even if the expo's not there and the eagle's not there. He should target that elixir uh, collector right there. And uh, he, I'll drop the wall breakers behind the king, let him into the base. He'll kill whatever skeletons are left. And instead of going for the expo and eagle, he should just go for this trash along the left side, get it cleared out. As he's going through, I'll be dropping a few more minions. Um, Got to be careful with time because... Uh, time is a bit of a, uh, an issue here with all these stages, but once all of that's cleared out, a single queen dive. Uh, pay close attention to where he dropped the queen. I gotta make sure she targets the right thing. Basically right above that army camp there. Come down for the Inferno Tower. Um, she should target that. Um, actually, she targets the Town Hall first for whatever reason, um, which is fine with me. So. Uh, I should have a few extra buildings. Uh, the king should take out most of this if he doesn't have to first stop at the eagle like he did in that last attack. So um, percentage should be fine. Uh, I have that same archer. Pretty much the same army composition besides I'm bringing, uh, I think, like a wizard um, just in case I need it instead of a few minions. I think that's going to be a better play to kind of help support the king. I might drop in a, a wizard behind. But uh, besides that, um, I think... I think we're good. I like the plan and uh, make sure I have the troops up. I have the the three hounds, the same 26 loons, uh, the baby dragon for the CC kill, the 12 minions, uh, five wall breakers, archers, wizard, and then the, I have the five haste, which I'll drop at the beginning, then the two rages, um, then that freeze on hopefully both the eagle and the inferno tower like tornado top links did. Yep, everything looks good here. Just about ready to go. Um, go ahead and go take a look at the base again. Um, so the order I'm going to do everything, I'm going to start off um, by dropping the hastes. So I'm going to drop the haste there, uh, haste on top of this mortar basically, a haste on top of the double cannon, and a haste on top or between the archer tower uh, mortar there. So cover that, and then one more haste there. So all five hastes. Then I'm going to drop my Lava Hounds. I'm going to drop two right at the top of the base here. 
um, above that mortar, drop them in the corner. That way uh, I have some time to drop my loons so the, so the hounds don't get destroyed. Then I'm going to drop the third one over in the corner here. So all, all hastes, then all the hounds, then all the loons. I'm going to do four on each of these two defenses. I'm going to do four on each of these. And the remaining ten I'm going to spread across these four defenses. Uh, rage over the wizard tower air defense area, and then rage over wizard tower uh, eagle air defense that area as well. And then finally the freeze on top of the inferno air defense. That's the main thing. Don't need to freeze the eagle as much just because uh, once the loons move in, it can't target them anyway, as you can see there. So uh, mainly going to try to get the freeze on the inferno. That's about it though. I'm feeling good about the plan. Um, as long as I just don't take too long time wise. Uh, this one should be successful, and uh, let's go ahead and give this one a shot. I wish my face cam was in a better spot. I'm going to kind of be looking down here, but uh, you guys will still hear. Let me go ahead and turn the music up as well. Uh, turn that up to there, just to add to the excitement. And last time, troop check. Everything looks good. Five haze, two rage, freeze. Okay. All right, wish me luck, guys. Let's do this. All right, we're going to start off with the hastes. They last for 25 seconds. So we'll drop the haste, then the hounds, then the loons. All right, here we go. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. We'll drop. Haste, 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 hound, hound, that, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, looking better than the last attack for sure. Oh yeah, very nice. Much more value there. Um, let's get the minions down. This is going to lure the CC over for the CC kill. Don't know where that witch is going. If the witch is going up, got to be conscious of time. Um, All right, the witch is going to come over and die to that baby dragon. Um, we'll go ahead and get minions here. Okay, the witch is dead. That's good. You can even draw over the skeletons. Let's get the king going. Wall breakers are acting a little weird. Okay, the king's on the wall, that's fine. Um, time's looking okay, we still got a minute, and the queen should directly target that town hall when the time comes. Just gotta keep an eye out for time. I already have the 50%. I'll make sure I have at least 30 seconds to drop my queen, just in case she targets the wrong thing here. Uh, I'll pop the king's ability. We'll sneak a minion or two out here. And a few right there just to make sure. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Is she gonna come? I don't think she's gonna come back. I do not think she's gonna come back. Oh, I can't believe it. I tried to get that one collector down. I guess I could have dropped her farther back up there. Oh, that sucks. Let's turn this down. Uh, let's take a look at the replay, see exactly what happened here. Um, 
that's unfortunate. Uh, the loons were were very good. Um, fast forward to the start here because I took a moment. Uh, the loons went really well. Pre haste was good. Um, good placement on all the haste spells. Went ahead and dropped the hounds in the corners to give myself some time. We did four four. I kind of you know kind of started to fat finger a little bit, but got them all down in a reasonable fashion. Then dropped the rages. And then freeze was perfect. Got the exact same uh, value on that freeze. Uh, loons come in, take out uh, defenses, and they even get that inferno tower taken out and the ground expo. And I think they even get the queen. Those pups do. Um, so the value was just uh, insane in terms of how much better than the last attack. So uh, that went really well. Uh, I think the queen. Yeah, I know she doesn't go down, but it was very close. Almost got the defensive queen, which is surprising. Um, so went ahead and lured the CC over to the corner here. Typical CC kill, let the baby dragon kill the uh, the witch. And then I dropped my minions over there. Um, we're going to have to pay attention to this building versus this building. And which is closer to the queen. I guess I should have dropped the queen farther. Yeah, I should have dropped the queen farther back um, behind these walls back here. Because if you look at it... Um, it's very hard for her to come all the way over and target this. This side has been cleared out very well. Um, and I guess compared to the last attack, it wasn't as well cleared. So um, so he dropped his queen higher up to get her right in between. And uh, the Inferno was still up. Uh, there, were, Although she did target the Town Hall. So that's not exactly accurate. Because on the last attack, she did target the Town Hall. So... Yeah, I tried to drop in those minions to get that taken out. Um, I didn't. I dropped the queen right above the army camp here. And, yeah, had to drop her back here, I would I would estimate. Or at least bring a baby dragon. You know, bring two less minions, one less archer, and one less balloon would be my, my recommendation for the next attacker. Drop the baby dragon here. It'll at least take that out. Probably get the storage as well. Then the queen can be dropped back kind of by this wall corner. It's probably the best spot to drop her. Um, as soon as I saw her go, I knew I was in trouble. <sighs> Sucks to end a video like this, but thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.